Good day. Uh, my name is Munir Ajam. I am the founder and CEO of Uruk Project Management. I am also the innovator behind the Uruk platform, and I would like to basically to show you uh, what we have. In this uh, video demo educational, we like to call these educational demos because it's not just about a click here, click there or tutorial. Uh, we, we provide some education, including discussion about, you know, the background behind some of the things we've seen, you, you will see here. Uh, there will be numerous demo videos, uh, each, for example, for each module later on, uh, we will have a, spe a special video for that module. Certain processes that might be complicated will have their own demos as well. And in this first demo, what we want to do is just give you a very high level overview of the Rook platform as it exists today, April 7, 2024. So let's go through this. Uh, once you log in, uh, uh, we're not going to go through the registration process and everything else. So basically, once you log in uh, as a new user, you should get your own welcome page. Your welcome page would look a little bit different than this. Uh, because this is already populated with some of my project. Uh, however, what you will see is uh, you will see very similar design. Uh, that, again, it has to be unique for you. Uh, so I'm going to show you mine because at least you will see what to expect. So the first things here on top left, you will see the project. You will see about six projects, as you can see here. Obviously, I have much more. And then you can click on see all to see all the project. I'm, I'm not going to go do all the clicking today. I'm just going to explain um, the general uh, view. So you will have the project or program, right? The project or program. And you can see here the designation, it says whether it is a project or a program. Uh, there is a dollar and schedule sign here and it's gray when we don't have any cost and schedule information, uh, then they will be gray. And later on, they will be color coded. If the project is doing very well, it will be green. If the project is in a cautious mode, it will be orange. And if it is project is in trouble, uh, it will be red. Uh, either one, it could be both or one of them, right? So this is uh, a quick uh, indicator from the home screen. You will be able to see your project and the health of each one of them. Then you will have, uh, there's some errors here. So we're still fixing this week and, and next week, uh, but they will be able to see the stage. Where are you uh, in the life cycle? Uh, and then what was the last stage gate approved? Then you will see pending task and soon we will launch pending issues. You will see pending issues as well. So this is very quick overview from this part. Uh, obviously you can click on pending issues and you will be able uh, to, to expand down and you will be able to see the, uh, the, uh, the pending task, sorry, in this case, uh, and then you can navigate from there. Uh, a very nice feature we added recently is, uh, is basically this plus sign here on top right. And that will allow you, for example, if you wanna add a new project, add a new program, add a captured lesson, uh, add item to community library, add an item to client library, or start a community discussion. And in the future, we could add more options. So this will be like a very quick shortcut for additional things that you would wanna do in the platform. Staying with the top side, you will see here latest notification. Usually whenever you do something, like you submitted a project to a stage gate, uh, the sponsor should receive a notification. So if you log in as a sponsor, you will see in the latest notification here. Uh, in this area, uh, you will see the latest knowledge portal reference. And what's the knowledge portal? There will be, uh, I will discuss that a little bit later. For a new user, for a new user that when you log in for the first time, a very important section is going to be here, the welcome package. There are four files here uh, in the welcome package. And uh, these are designed to help you self on board, whether you are an individual user or organizational user. Uh, so basically quickly what these are, it's just a welcome letter. It has some valuable information. Uh, it's a very short letter. Uh, so very short, couple of pages. Uh, so basically it gives you some guidance and just an overview of what to look for. Uh, if you are an organizational client and you are the client admin, uh, you must start here. File two, client admin action. These are the action that the client admin, the one who represent the client, who will manage the platform on behalf of the client, uh, that they need to do set up, invite users, 
uh, you know, add organization unit. There are many actions here. I'm not going to go through them. Uh, there will be a separate video on this topic. There are various actions that can be done from setting again to uh, inviting users and other that have to happen. Even if you're not the client admin, we invite you to scan through this so you can have at least a rough idea of what exists here. Then you have the platform vital concept. Uh, this is a document. We, we call it a short document, but it's about 10 pages or more that include many of the important concepts that we want to summarize from the various guide and, and, and publication and notes and files that we are publishing. Uh, at least try to summarize the critical concept. So we invite every user, you must really start here. You know, investing half an hour in studying this, it will save you a lot of time later and give you an idea about what this platform. Now, why is this is important? Because we are not providing you with a tool. This is a really comprehensive digital solution that is adaptive and scalable, uh, and it have a lot of a new way of thinking about project management for some. So it's really important to understand the vital concept in here. Then you have a list of videos. Uh, some of these videos are old and we will be replacing them, but at least uh, you, know, you, you can get a reference to see what exists and you will be able to see. So that welcome package will be there for you, uh, you know, for at least 60 days from the time you subscribe, uh, at least to be there uh, to, to, to help you look for things. Now, one thing we mentioned in that first letter is that there are two other sources of information. We call them the Arug Guide and Knowledge Portal. So maybe I should pause from this home screen and show you those things very quickly. If you go to home, right, and then we have something here called COP, which is re reference, sorry, We have the community of practice and administrative, uh, and that is an area that is very important uh, for you uh, to know. So let's go through it. And, and it includes a few things. I'm not going to mention everything. However, I'm going to mention two things here. There is a knowledge portal, and there's an Uruk guide section. So between the welcome package, the knowledge portal, and the Uruk guide, you have a lot of information to help you understand uh, and use and master the Uruk platform. So the welcome package is more to help yourself on board quickly. So at least you have an understanding of what's going on. Then you will have the Uruk guide that include a lot of individual files. For example, there will be a file uh, for, well, let me go there and I will show you uh, because this is very important. Uh, sorry, step, uh, step back for a second. Uh, we are right now updating the UI UX design for the entire platform. So some of the screen you will see are still look like a little bit the preliminary views. These are the view, uh, the design from the old and they will be replaced soon. So that is what we are trying to uh, work on. And in addition to adding functionalities and increment to the platform, we are also updating the UI UX design. So some of the screen, they will look a little bit old. Uh, please be patient with us. So, and this is the Uruk guide. You will have Uruk general information, guideline, demos, uh, welcome package. So the welcome package is here. So even if when it disappeared from your home screen, you can still find it here. Uh, tutorial and demos we will be populating soon. But for example, if you look at the Uruk guideline, uh, you will see the welcome package here. If I go back and you look at general information, uh, you see there is a book here. Uh, basically the project management guide and terminology, and there will be other document that we will be uploading here. Uh, and then if we go back to the knowledge area, knowledge portal. Uh, so uh, before I move to the knowledge portal, the root guide are things and files information to help you master the platform. So if you want to get in-depth knowledge of some of the section within the platform, that's where you need to go. Uh, and the knowledge portal is a little bit different. This is more of a project management education. So this is, will be an area for education and learning about the platform. So you can see there are case studies, there are eBooks, there are project management clarification. I'm not gonna go deep into this, you can explore on your own. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage. So we talked about uh, obviously the uh, 
top side, we talked about the welcome package. And here you have a section for latest community discussion. So if there are any community discussion, obviously the platform is, we're still trying to put it into the market right now and go into market at this time. So there might not be a lot of information here yet. Uh, but as you start to get you as a user, you would like to share something with the community, create a discussion, ask for help, uh, that there is a place for you to do that. And those will show here. So the latest will show here. And of course, you can always see that, see all, if there are much more, uh, you will be able to go. Then you have the captured lessons learned shown here as well. Uh, so basically these are for your organization, not only your project, obviously any lessons learned created within the organization that has been approved and added to the database, it will show up here. So uh, if you are a new organization logging on platform, obviously you will see this as blank. That is the home page. Now, what else exists? Uh, let me go uh, through uh, quickly to the top side. Uh, from the uh, avatar area, you can do your audit your profile. Uh, you, you will see notification here. Uh, you will have the frequently asked question and guide. You can access them from here as well. Uh, here you can create community discussion and community discussion is that what I mentioned that will show down below. Uh, these are open to all users of Uruk, so they are outside your organization, right? So this is not restricted to your organization. And when you go to the section, if you want to create a community discussion, there will be a reminder to telling you, be careful, this is going public, right? And chat are internal. The chat are internal to your organization, so you can create chat and team within your organization. Uh, and then you have uh, support. You can basically request a new feature. Uh, you can contact us or you can do a support ticket. If there's uh, if you think there is a problem, uh, you can basically do it from here. Now, if I go to the left on the menu, uh, the menu uh, based on the element, we have a portfolio management element. We have a program management, project management, supporting tools. And I've already talked about the community and administrative. There's some popular shortcut. Now, if you are the client admin, and you log in as a client admin, you will see here as well another menu item, which is the client admin action. That, that menu item will only show for the client admin. So what can we do on the platform? And portfolio management is new and coming up. Uh, so what you can do, you can see the project and program list. Uh, and basically, like this is my project and program and it will show the status and will show other various information over here. You can do quite a bit of filtering. You can filter on closed project. You can filter on completed project. You can filter on future project. You can filter on project by Munir, or you can filter by uh, uh, sponsor that is uh, Mike. Uh, so whatever you can do, you can do some filtering. Uh, and you can also, of course, add a, a new project or new program from here. If I go back to the program list, uh, uh, some of these are still uh, not active. Uh, there is a client library section, similar to that knowledge library that I shared with you, but this is restricted to the client. If we look at portfolio performance, uh, that's an area where we have things. There will be a reporting module, there will be executive dashboard module, and there will be project and program performance. We are completely revamping these sections, so I'm gonna click, but I don't know if they're, uh, they're operating yet. Uh, because they were operating and we deactivated them because we are making major changes to them. We are trying to get up to about 50 plus chart uh, in these by the end of April when we do the beta release. Let's, let me check to see if there's... Yeah, right now it's still uh, empty because we were uh, doing this this month uh, and the executive dashboard will probably be empty as well. Oh, actually, no, there's some maybe, but I think these are templates, right? So you will see uh, uh, basically all type of performance chart that exists. And in the executive dashboard, you can see the functionality. Um, uh, we can, from here, we can select whether we want to see a project. Uh, we want to see the dashboard for a specific project or the dashboard for a specific program or a dashboard for the portfolio, the entire portfolio, or an organizational unit within a portfolio. Again, I'm not going to go through this because some of it is still being uh, updated and revised. Uh, so not everything here has been tested. But uh, we 
again, we are working on to get all of this ready before the end of the month. Uh, so other than portfolio management, uh, program management, but uh, right now it's quite basic. Uh, and you, you can actually set up a program and you can manage a program. It exists already. However, we, uh, we emphasize this is the first iteration. And uh, so basically uh, we will have a special, I'm, I'm gonna have, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we will have a special video about each one of these areas later. So when the executive dashboard is fully functional, uh, we will go and we'll do a demo on that and explain the different things and the different functionality there. Uh, for now, I just wanna show you all the different pieces and component of the platform. This is why we call this is an overview. Project management is the area that is most developed and is based on the concept of tailored method. So first thing you do, you do a project setup and then you can see basically you can add a project and this will be, you are adding a project to the platform, which mean it will be in the, in the, uh, the status of that project will be future project. We used to call that a parking lot, but this is a future project. And, and, and our project and program, we use five status of project. Future, active, completed, closed, and hold, if a project is on hold. So first thing, we the any user uh, can add a project over here. You complete the profile, and then that project will need to go to, we'll have to name a sponsor, and we'll go to the sponsor. The sponsor can activate the project. So as you can see here, uh, we only have the first box as active. That means we can complete the profile for the project. And of course, we can always edit it in the future. And then once we say submit, it will go to the sponsor. When the sponsor, I'll just exp explain the whole process quickly. When the sponsor approve, let's say approve, of course the sponsor can reject or can keep the project on hold. But if the sponsor approve the project, they will have to name a project manager. Uh, the project manager will get a notification in that top bell that, uh, that the project has been activated which means now as a project manager, the first things I must do is select a tailored method. Now this will be a tailored method from whatever we have built already into the platform, or this could be custom method that we built for you as a client. Um, that would require special discussion by itself. Again, we'll leave it for future. And then there is an important thing here is that the frequency of reporting of your performance chart. How often do you like to report? Do you report weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly? You, you can set this information here. You can link to a schedule template and that's optional. And once it's all done, uh, then uh, obviously we consider with these five, the first five step, the project is set up and the system, we have a tailored method. Now you can manage the project. And so let me go back and show you uh, what that looked like. This is, uh, this whole screen would look very different by the end of the month. Uh, this is actually where the team is working on the, the next week or two uh, to revise this entire process. However, basically the revision are, you know, they are mostly cosmetic, but they include some functionality. Like today, for example, if you wanna manage a project, there are multiple screen. We are trying to consolidate as much of those screen together to make it more user-friendly and easier interface. But basically every project have a life cycle, like this project here, you can see a lot of orange that mean completed and the circle are the gate, they are dark. Uh, and that you can see uh, basically uh, what you see here is you will see this image <coughs> and you will see it as a table below. <clears throat> for example, this project, specific project is ready for closure, right? Uh, or ready for basically the PLC to, to close because we've done everything and now this is the only thing I can do on this project. Uh, <clears throat> let me select another project. Uh, this is another project and you notice the life cycle would look like a little bit different. Uh, you probably don't remember if you scroll back in the video uh, the previous one has nine stages. This one has seven. Uh, we have different tailored methods in the system. Uh, we have the micro project that could be four stages. This is a small, simple project. It's about seven. 
and of course all of this is tailorable we have not talked about tailoring in this video uh, we've probably covered that in so many other videos there's uh, basically the platform include numerous tailored method you can select from and whatever you select will show up here and then you will be able to see what's going on where you are like in this case on this project we are at this level so today if you click on this it should show you will be able to see that the uh, what we call the stage management however as we mentioned all of this is being redesigned right now so basically to manage a stage what you have we use diff two different versions but uh, basically we call simplified stage management what we are saying in advanced stage management so what we're saying here is that to manage a project we manage the life cycle right we manage across the stages we manage the life cycle from end to end and we also must manage every stage now managing every stage for small simple project uh, we use what we call the simplified stage management process which mean planning the stage you know implementing the stage work which is producing the deliverable and uh, you have a places to monitor and control and close so it's quite simple very simplified not much action to be done except of course to do the work of the deliverable itself to produce the deliverable before the stage gate but the idea here in every stage we need to manage the stage and then we go in and start to do the stage development uh, which mean uh, implement implementing the stage work which mean developing the stage deliverable like for example in this case uh, in the concept and feasibility stage the first one uh, we produce a document we call the project authorization document so when that's submitted it go to a gate right and uh, and then when the gate is approved it will open the second stage and so on with this i will be closing uh, this video because i want to just show you the different feature very quickly uh, and let me summarize what can we do what can you do with the rook platform uh, you can definitely manage a project and using the tailored method that you select for that project and the tailored method right now are we have built many tailored methods into the system and we can build some unique for you as a client to be able to to use your own unique method so you will be able to manage a project using the tailored method and uh, one thing we have not mentioned is that to manage a project first we do well for any project first we set it up as i showed you and then we manage across the stages and we manage every stage we also need to manage costs and schedule function i forgot to show you that so let me quickly go there and show it to you and that is the supporting tool that we have here and a lot of this is being completely rebuilt so uh, what can you see here there are many items so for example let me uh, we have uh, core control uh, we might rechange the menu but for example right now the cost management scope management schedule management and there are modules here uh, they, they will be let me be careful how i say this there will be up to 25 module under this area you know and you can see them not all of these some of these are active but they are active as the old design which is very basic we are replacing many of them uh, so basically you have cost management you have in the people aspect uh, you have team management stakeholder communication uh, and then you have uh, in compliance uh, you have quality uh, you know and you can see them grayed out under support you can see there is uh, task management captured lesson document management these are active today uh, you know again many things here are active some of them are still very basic design that we will be replacing in the coming months some of them have already been re replaced for example the captured lessons learned is a new module that we built in where you can go in and uh, basically add a new captured lesson uh, you can review lessons from the database and so on so again to go back to my summary uh, you can manage a project what can you do with the platform you can manage a project uh, which means set up the project and manage across the stages and manage every stage you can manage uh, you can use the supporting action to help you manage a project you can do the same thing with program management right but except the difference right now is in program management uh, it doesn't have tailored method it has one one approach and uh, 
of most of the program management is done that you are managing the program through projects, right? So basically it will link you to project. And then uh, you have the project to, to manage every project. And uh, so you have the program management. And of course, portfolio management is still being added soon, uh, uh, piece by piece. But as we mentioned, we already include the performance chart and the executive dashboard and the reporting and the client library. There are a few things that are already here. Uh, you can explore them. Uh, as we mentioned, we are using agile development. So basically we're building the platform iteratively and incrementally. Uh, so almost every week we either do releases, either enhancing something that exists, fixing bugs or new ideas that come up from based on feedback, uh, or they could be new addition. Like this week, uh, uh, we will be releasing uh, the project success module. So basically we have a success module based on the four dimensional project success. They will be updated. In terms of development, right now we're working on doing the uh, base plan beta release by the end of April, and then we'll convert that into a base plan by the end of June. And later on, there will be additional module. So with that, I will say thank you. We wish you success today, tomorrow, and always.